What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. I apologize for the wind. It's very windy today. I don't know how it's going to handle on camera, but I got to show you something. All the snow is starting to melt away. It's almost all gone. Sorry for the wind. But I need to show you the aftermath of the snow and what has happened here. This is, uh, this is amazing. Right here, look at this. How crazy is it that, that these little flowers can bloom the day after the snow melts, as if they waited for that moment? And what does that say about us, you know? If they can go through such chaos and such an such a unprecedented time for nature in Texas, and the next day, I mean, they were not blooming before the chaos, let's say that. They were not blooming before the chaos, and then the chaos happens, something that's never happened here, and they come out out of the chaos and they bloom. And so I say, what, what could we learn about that? The Bible talks about that. Jesus talks about that as the lilies of the field. If he could so clothe the flowers out here through this chaos, don't you think he's gonna take care of us? That's what he says. We could either believe him or not, but that's what he says. And there's yellow flowers after snow. Beauty after chaos. Just saying, something to think about. So I got one of these things to try to help battle the cold mornings we're having in the barn. It's pretty cool, right? One of those fancy propane heaters you see at restaurants. Plug this thing in and see if, see if it puts out some heat. It's supposed to work. So now I got this, I got this guy, I got this guy. I got a lot of heat. <laughs> so we'll see uh, if this helps any. The cool thing about this is when we move to the new house, I'll still be able to use this all the time on the porch. So, it still works. This is the easiest operating heater we have. And that's kind of awesome. So I'd literally just push the igniter and that's it. Turn on the gas, which is, which is, which I put in here. And it's putting out a lot of heat. Dad, God, that's gonna be awesome. Have I missed it yet? Not yet. Two minutes. Two minutes. Let's get in there, Brian. Let's go. It's a really important day. It's launch day. Launch day. Yee Yee Apparel Winter Launch, 2021. Two minutes out. All in Parker's office. Did I miss it? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up and, and uh Did I miss it yet? For this launch and then Who you on the phone we'll, with? We'll touch base later. Who is that? Alright, cool. Sounds good. Okay, see ya. Yeah, I thought you guys would be more like excited, playing music. There's not even music. Taco truck, nothing? No? I mean imagine you're about to go on like the biggest show of your life and people are and you're 45 seconds out. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it's I mean it's not that this is the biggest show of my life, but it's just like you're more just standing by to solve problems rather than standing by to be excited. So quiet in here. We've been preparing for this winter launch for like six years. Or right, months. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Hey! Refresh. Uh, that's the most we've ever had already. 4,100 visitors. 43. 4,400 visitors. You ready? Aw, look at that kid. 
Oh, look at that girl. Who's that model y'all got? 4,900 visitors. About to crest 5,000 5, visitors. Look at that snow. Wow. I could just make it say yee.com. Yeah, we got you, so you lucky. Shop, just like yeah. Watch, something about that. So lucky that it snowed and we yeah, got to use those picks. And leaf tree. Hayden, we got two things sold out so far. We have the Sheds long sleeve shirt. That's completely sold out, completely all sizes. Completely sold out. Love it. Seems to be a crowd favorite. And we have the Black Kettle Co. hoodie. Oh, that's gone? It's gone. Bye. And it is 10, 11. So it's been 11 minutes into the launch. That's so exciting for us. This woman's sweater, teal letterman sweater, is probably gonna be the next one to go. Which I wear, by the way, too. And it's not just a woman's. That's another sweatshirt I've been sleeping in. The gray sweatshirt. So, we used to think that selling out of things was a bad thing until we realized if we order the amount that we could predict is going to be sold out early, it helps us not to keep a bunch of inventory on the shelf. So this is Parker's business model really and Tyler's, but so it's a good thing. You guys might be watching this going, why it's sold out in 11 minutes. That's a bad thing. No, it's, it's actually, it's, it's good for us so that we could get clear our shelves and we don't hold on to a bunch of inventory. So we want to just roll through it quickly and get ready for spring launch. Hey y'all, it's Granger Smith. Wanna hear new country first in OKC? It's Jake. Hey y'all, it's Granger Smith, listening to Jake, just like you. Hey Boston, it's Granger Smith on 1017 The Bull. Hey, this is Granger Smith congratulating Beasley Media Group on 60 years. You keep playing the hits and we'll keep making them. Good morning, everyone. I am here at one of my good friend's house, Heather. She goes to my church, and today we are filming something really special for our church. And I don't know if I can say anything about it yet, but I'm gonna film some behind the scenes, and then hopefully whenever it comes out, I will be able to show you guys. So I'm here with Heather and Sammy, and we're gonna do hair and makeup, and then we're gonna do our little, what we're doing that I can't talk to you about. <laughs> so these are my dream team, Heather and Sammy. And they're gonna make me, they're gonna make this face right here look, <laughs> better than this. It's <laughs> our crew. Working hard. So this is going to be a bad video because of the wind. Sorry. But I need to show you something. I'm working on building some bigger. I've got another one of these I'm going to bring up here. I'm working on building some more. So what do we have here, Hayden? So I got 10 Caternix quail. This is my first batch. I started raising recently. And these are the first ones. You got five over here. And there's a wall in the middle, and you got five over here. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah. So there's two males over here, this one is, male over here. Your dad built this, didn't he? Yeah. My dad <laughs> your this. dad could build anything. Oh, you should. My dad has a whole shed now. So I showed these on the Smiths. I showed the eggs mm -hmm. a couple episodes ago. And those eggs have hatched now, they're about one week old. I've got 14 total now, and they're little bitty chicks. These are about uh, eight eight weeks, and they're they're basically full grown. I'll grab one. Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a female. So pretty. Hey, girl. Let me grab one of these males. Oh my goodness. Sorry, sir! Woohoo! <laughs> this is my alpha male. This is the biggest male that I've got right now. He's a hoss. He's making sure that the females are putting out eggs every single day. Come on. And you said he was a rooster. You called him or is that what yeah, they call I, him? Yeah, I, I actually don't know what they call him. I've just grown up with uh, chickens all my life. So that's just kind of what I called it. I wish we could get him. We may be able to get him to crow. Why are they separated? About three to four weeks. You have to be careful and they need to stay with their same group because sometimes the males will start attacking each other. Oh. Dominance thing. Sometimes I'll crow back. The other thing. 
That's a that's a male crow. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. This one will usually get loud right here. That one that I just picked up. Usually, if I play this sound, he'll get he'll get heated. I can't believe he hasn't. I've heard that sound in the wild. Didn't know what it was. You probably heard it a lot in Mexico. Yeah, I did actually. A lot of these females, you can see that they're missing they're hair like, on the top, and that's whenever they start breeding. So the males will grab them by the, the back of the neck. And so I can tell which ones are laying. I haven't seen them lay yet. I've got four eggs here. And I know that some are laying and some aren't, but I'm at least able to tell which ones are laying because they you can see that they're missing hair. And then there's a few that aren't missing hair on the back at all, so. So why do they not have the bob white feathers? on their heads. I don't know, I think I think those are bob whites that are like the, that. These are a little bit different. These are uh, bob white and Caternix are the top two. So if you've ever hunt, well you can hunt both, but a lot of people will raise them, a lot of people will raise bob whites for hunting, where because bob whites fly a lot better, Caternix don't fly as well. So they're not as great for, from my understanding, if anyone has ever raised these for hunting, comment below and, and let us know because I'm, I'm very interested to hear more about this, but... Dude, my German short hairs would go crazy. I know, I know. I know. They would lose their minds. Let me see something funny. Cooper! <whistles> he is terrified. He's terrified of the chicks. Really? Think about Think about these. Come here, buddy. Did you get that? Yes. <laughs> that's not the first time that's happened either. Hey, come here. Nope. What do you think? Doesn't even care. Nope. You don't like that? He's like, Where, where's I'm my out. brisket sandwich? Yeah, where's the brisket sandwich? Where's Butch and Bull? The, the Yee farm where we are, we are in an old tractor trailer that has been sitting here since we bought it years ago. And it's the first time we've actually put it to use. And now that you have chickens here, and these quail here, we could officially say the Yee Farm is truly a farm, finally. What do you think we should do next? Besides that, we, I know we, yeah. we cut hay. <laughs> we cut hay, but that, just cutting hay alone doesn't really qualify the farm title. Now you have to have some type of animal, and we're, we're getting there. I want to do more though. What do you think we should do next? Comment below. That's what we should do next. We'll do whatever gets the top comment. <laughs> yeah, top comment on the whatever animal life comes in next. We'll do here at the EE farm. We'll consider. This is cool though. Yeah, I'm excited. We'll have we'll have a lot more, and then um, I mean, in a couple months, we're gonna have way way more. So okay, good deal. And I'm gonna buy some from him and raise them at our house too. So yeah. we'll have some at my house. We'll have some here at the EE farm. I'll just have to keep them away from my dogs. Yeah. Want to see the quail? It was too good for me not to show the kids. So yeah. got the kids. You all excited? That's uh, Butch and Bull's truck they're gonna make one day. I hear them! I hear them! I swear I heard them. <gasps> oh. This is suspicious. Oh my God. Can I hold it? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna buy some from Mr. Hayden and bring them to our house too. We are? Yes. Does he have? They just bite with teeth, that's it. But it doesn't hurt. <laughs> no! It just, it, the, it just makes you bleed a little bit. Oh! Why I'm kidding. Are you me? It's daggum quail. I'll try, okay? Your noise is cute. I guess I'll try, Daddy. Okay. It's too feisty. <laughs> so pretty. Feisty. Oh, there's eggs in there. Hey, bro. This is Craig the quail. Craig. What's your hexy? It's okay. Why are you way at the corner over there? Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, Got you. <laughs> Why don't you lift up your shirt and put it in your shirt? No. Like in, in the, yeah, like that. No. Yeah. We're gonna buy some? Yeah. Huh. Hayden's daddy built him this, this cool cage. Look at it. Get over here. Perfect. Come here. I'm living here. That's it? See ya.
Me in London, about to do an epic drawing contest. So we got, you know, Cheez-Its, of course, and pencil sharpener. You ready? What's the category? Vase of pretty flowers. What? Vase of pretty flowers. Vase of pretty flowers. Contest is on. All right, we're kind of ready here. This is, well, we haven't colored yet, but here's me. I mean, I even signed it. That's how serious I am about this competition. <laughs> I always sign every piece of paper. I don't know what those flowers are. They're completely made up in my brain. What's yours look like? Let me see. This is mine so far. I just need to do the leaves on the stems. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Sign it. I will. Hang on. After, I usually sign it after I finish. Oh, you do. So good. So this is how I sign my artwork. Oh, by the way, I'm done. You're done. Beautiful. Thank you. Sign it. I'm gonna, this is how I usually sign it. Each one. Can't see. Wait. Nice. Go get the colors and let's start coloring this in. Okay, these are my colors. What are these? Are they like uh, like uh, pencils? We have some pencils. Not nah, upside down. Whoa! Oh, you got this for Christmas. Yes. Contest is over. Reveal. Here's the reveal. Mm. Lincoln and Mom are gonna be the judge. Oh, oh my what? gosh! I hate being the judge. Me too. I can't. I already said I couldn't pick. How do you pick a winner? Those are both so beautiful. I pick Lennon's. I pick, Lennon. I pick Lennon's too. I pick that. I love Lennon's colors. Okay, I pick mine. That. <laughs> but I love Daddy's sunflowers. I, I love Lennon's color. I think we should give them away. On I think we should. They're no. signed. I... Well, then let's give away Daddy's. Give away mine. No. I'm going to give away yours. How do we, how should we give it away? How should we give it away, I'm Lennon? Oh, we can still voting. Oh, sorry. I like the name and the color. And Daddy doesn't have that much color. But I'm still going with Daddy. Yes! Okay. So, Lincoln, how do we give Daddy's artwork away? We can mail it to somebody. You know what? What? Wait. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold up. What's going on? Yes, okay, London's right. too. We're gonna do a giveaway. Giving away London's too. On the comments, say, I want Granger's or I want London's. And we'll choose. And we'll choose. And then we'll pick randoms and we'll mail them out. We'll, uh, but you gotta be subscribed to the channel. Mm -hmm. So if you're subscribed to the channel, we will comment below your comment and then we'll figure out the details. You can't just like subscribe Get our artwork and unsubscribe. Yeah, don't do that. That's yeah, weird. don't do that. That's, that's weird. That's, that's not. That's not cool. So guys, hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. Bye. For a country things. Yeah, country things. Fried catfish at a corner store. Thanking the Lord for a thunderstorm. Truck in the barn, don't crank no more. Country things.